What are the processes that diet and exercise do for us that keep us healthy? And why does calorie restriction and intermittent fasting make animals live so much longer? And we think we've figured out a large part of how that works. And now we're mimicking that with molecules. Not only that, when we add them on to a healthy diet and exercise in the animals, they do even better. It's like a supercharged mouse. Uh, one of the first molecules that, uh, infamous molecules that we uh, are known for is resveratrol from red wine. That molecule discovered it in my 30s, or at least linked it to aging. What we showed was that if you give it to a, a fat mouse, they're as healthy as a thin mouse. Uh, they live just as long, they get heart disease and all of the other bad stuff. Same. And it was, so it was additive. Same with exercise. If we give our latest molecule called NMN uh, to a mouse and we exercise it, it'll run even further than it could with either of those alone. So it's not an excuse to sit around and just eat chips and watch TV. It augments a healthy lifestyle, gets you further than what you could get naturally. You can think of resveratrol as the accelerator pedal for the sirtuin genes, and the NMN is the, is the fuel. And without fuel, resveratrol won't work, so NMN is the, the gas.